South Bay has become a process by the numbers. Number 10. Number 10. Sorry, we have to cross somebody off. My husband and I have been uh, looking for a home probably for about six years now. Uh, we like the other side of the bay a lot. It's closer to work for us, commute-wise, but uh, it's getting quite congested over there. So Debbie Jackson, along with dozens of others, spent nearly two weeks camped out for a home in Fremont. Such a demand for these homes that we had to get in a line to assure that we would have a home that we wanted. The homes they're waiting for in a development called Heritage Heights haven't been built yet. Two years ago, economists told developers the Bay Area needed 100,000 new homes to satisfy the demand. Now they say that figure is much higher. Within the last year, 16,000 more people moved to San Jose. But there were fewer than 4,000 new homes built and just 5,000 new condos and apartments. Could the hillsides be next? I don't believe there'll be much uh, development of the hillsides. All of the communities are becoming real sensitive about that and are adopting uh, hillside policies to preclude uh, extensive development. And with at least 10 people waiting for every one new home, one developer told me it could be several years before the building industry here catches up. In the South Bay, Chuck Coppola, News Center 4.